I'm going to activate the camera with the left soft key. And we're going to take some photos. You can see I don't have a memory card and the device does not ship with one. I didn't happen to have one handy. Uh, taking pictures is pretty easy. Just use the D-pad button. Takes photos. No need for focusing or anything because it's a fixed focus device. Hit the left soft key to get back. You can take more. You can uh, activate the video camera by going right on the D-pad. Go left to get back to the camera. And it does have a nice thing, uh, nice feature. So it's your shortcuts here. If you hit the zero key, gives you a quick indication of what the controls are. So you can see the digital zoom controls and turning on and off night mode, things like that. This is the photo viewer in the W518. And you can see it has a auto rotation sensor. So you get to look at everything in full screen mode. It's quite nice. I'm going to jump into the main menu and move down to our files here. So you can look at the applications. Number of applications included on the device. Uh, many of them are demos though. You can see that the Facebook application is currently running. Juicecaster, uh, Moby TVs, things like that. And there's also a few games in there as well. Navigation is also included. AT&T Navigator. Go into the contacts. Contact system works pretty decently. Uh, it's a nice editor and such. You can see we'll add a, go into a new contact. You can see it's a nice tabbed interface. Works pretty well. Uh, searching is kind of limited though. If you search by uh, entering with a keypad, say I hit J, you know, you can see Jack Black comes up. If I add an O to that, John Doe comes up. Problem is you can only search on first first name, so you can't search on last name. So if I were to type a G for Peter Griffin, I get nothing. This is the web browser. This is a, the mobile version of the Mobile Burn website. Works pretty well. Uh, browser seems to have some problems with a lot of full HTML sites, although it is capable of rendering a lot of full HTML sites. So let's pull up something that actually works instead. Go into the menu here in Bookmarks. And we're going to take, let's see, uh, Yahoo Tech. This is an HSDPA 3.5G connection, so it should be pretty quick, but um, my tests running um, DSL reports, um, mobile speed tests, show that it's only really getting about 300 to 350 kbits per second most of the time, which is not, not very impressive. Browser controls are a little bit weak in terms of zooming control and stuff like that, but um, it does a pretty good job of rendering a lot of full HTML websites, as you can see. If you hit left on the D-pad from the home screen, it brings up a menu for creating a new message. You can change that in the user settings. just want to show you how the T9 works. Word prediction, word completion. Uh, pretty nice system overall. Recently used contacts show up automatically, which is very handy. And just send it off. We'll get an error message back from AT&T in a second telling us that it's an invalid address. And there it is. We'll go access it through the main menu so you can see the full inbox. Also got instant messaging, I mentioned previously. Go into the missed events and we'll bring up AIM. This is the AIM client. And we just sent that message off. Pretty good AIM client overall. And one last thing, I wanted to show you the default theme. This is uh, kind of at t colors. You can see a lot of oranges and blues. Uh, very easy to read. And the theme is actually called Clarity, which makes some sense. And here's the home screen. So that's our look at the Sony Ericsson W518A Walkman.
Uh, very nice hardware design in general, a very solid build, um, nice and thin. My only real complaint is uh, the D-pad. Beautiful display, a lot of good functionality, and uh, Sony Ericsson's feature phone user interface is really top-notch. Uh, the phone is available now for $50 after rebates um, on AT&T. Again, that's the Sony Ericsson W518A. I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.